Hi everybody, I'm Solomon, the Arkansas Diamond Miner. Uh, I'm going to make you a quick video today about my gorilla cart. You can see it there behind me. It's probably one of the handiest things I bring out here with me. Um, this is the six cubic yard model. Um, I don't know exactly like the model number of it, but uh, I use it a lot of times. I can tote buckets with it. I, you can see today I'm moving some of my wash set up to a different spot on the field before the end of the day. I've got about 45 minutes, but uh, this thing is super handy. I can take it on all the plow or the roads out here. Um, I can take it on part of the plowed search field. I kind of have to be real selective because I mean, obviously you can, you kind of see back here, it's pretty rough out there. So uh, that gorilla cart doesn't quite handle that very well. But uh, anyhow, so there's this little road that goes along the side of the search field and then it cuts across down here. I'm gonna just start moving this stuff and I'm gonna show you uh, how I can kind of fit buckets in it. Uh, I can usually fit six five gallon buckets of material if I want to use this to haul material along the uh, little roads that go through the search area so I'm going to try and get this thing set up and or get this thing moved over here get my stuff unloaded and I'll show you I can fit some buckets in there and stuff like that So, you can see, I've got this thing stacked pretty high, so obviously um, it's going to be top heavy, so if you guys are stacking stuff really high on these, um, you need to make sure that you're kind of bracing it as you go in over uneven territory. Um, if you turn, if you've got this thing loaded down and you turn, the only thing I don't like about this cart is that if you turn sharp enough, just like any other cart, um, it can tip forward like that. Um, I think these are rated for about a thousand pounds. This one, the actual model on this, this is the uh, 2345 Gorilla Cart. I wouldn't have been able to tell you that, but I just spotted the sticker on there. But I think the, uh, I think the weighted rate on these it's probably a thousand pounds close to it either way um, super handy you can uh, you could actually take all of these sides off uh, this thing is packs up super easy I, ha I have fit this in a small Nissan before um, it uh, it can disassemble in just just a few minutes you can take the sides off real easy the wheels have uh, hitch pins on them I'll show you those so you can actually pull these wheels off pretty easily <clears throat> so that pull that dude right there out well you may not be able to see you can pull that pin and pull them wheels right off and it just you can take it completely flat almost um, one of the things that uh, if you're hauling a lot of weight you want to make sure your tires are aired up mine are a little bit soft right now I haven't aired them up in a while Actually, I'm not even sure I've aired them up since I bought it. But, uh, anyhow, I'll show you how I can fit six buckets in there and then I'm gonna have to wrap it up pretty quick. I get all this stuff unloaded. I'm kind of moving stuff around today. I'm gonna wash in a different area tomorrow, just a little bit of material that I've found. So, uh, I'll show you how I can fit six buckets in there real quick. All right, so, uh, pulled all my barrels and stands and stuff out of there. And, uh, you can see behind me right here, I can fit six easily, um, and it's not too top heavy. You know, if you fill those buckets to the full, you know, fully to the top, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a bit of weight. Don't know exactly how many pounds, but it's, 
you know, it's going to be a couple hundred pounds pretty easy. The wagon handles it without a problem. It's a lot easier if the tires are aired up fully. Um, they don't have brakes on them, so if you're going down a pretty good incline on one of these roads, it's usually a better idea to turn it around and actually back it down so that you can pull instead of it pushing you. It's an easier way to slow it down. And some people, when they come out here, um, I've not really got this in a whole lot of mud, but uh, I've been told that it does have a tendency to cake mud on the tires. So, and I'm not sure there's really a, a good way to prevent that, but uh, um, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's probably, you know, I, I use a yoke to get the material out across the furrows. And sometimes if I'm really close, like today I'm uh, getting some material or I got some material off Canary Hill real quick, just uh, something real, real quick and simple. Um, I'm gonna wash it tomorrow. Probably won't make a video on that just cause it's just a few buckets, but uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys my gorilla cart. So there it is. Packs up easy and as handy as they get out here. Most people that spend a lot of time out have one of two kinds of carts and this is one of the, one of the kinds they use. So at some point I'll have another, another type of cart out here. It's a poly cart. Um, you can actually use it for a mobile wash station. Um, don't have it yet, probably order one pretty soon. And once I get one, I'll put a, a link in the description for that also. So uh, anyhow, thanks for watching.